In this video, we will build a cybersecurity portfolio or blog website, and we'll get it up and running in a matter of minutes. In this demonstration, I'm going to explain why it's important to have a portfolio website in cybersecurity, as well as setting up your first website today with Hostinger and WordPress. So let's go ahead and get started by looking at my very first website. Oof, oh boy. About three and a half years ago, I published my first project on the internet, and that was a portfolio website. Now, although this website was very basic at the time, it really extended a new line of opportunities for me to grow and connect with people in the cybersecurity community. Okay, so as you can see here, this was my website. It's actually still up and live today. Cyber Intern Academy, although the name's a little bit cringy at this time now, uh, is something that really extended a new opportunity for me and getting involved within the cybersecurity community. It helped me gain new internship opportunities at the time, as well as connect with people throughout the world who could help me maybe understand more about the industry that I was entering into as a freshman in college. So there was different sections out on this website that I created and wrote articles on, and really it was just a way of getting started in cybersecurity. Now, why a portfolio website in 2022? Well, there's three reasons. The first one is it's gonna help you reinforce the concepts as you go about learning throughout a certification course or book, anything. You can take a concept and break it down in an article. That's gonna help you reinforce what you are learning because you are describing it to others who are gonna go out on the internet and read your articles. Number two is that you're working outside of the box. What I mean by this is you aren't a standard student or individual who is just working to get a good grade in a classroom. You're going out and taking the extra effort to show that you have a level of interest or even a passion in documenting your learning journey, what you are learning, and maybe some lessons that you are finding throughout your projects. Number three is that your portfolio website can really truly help others while you are connecting with other individuals. For instance, I've had articles out there where I have written and I've helped others maybe get an idea of good resources to get started in cybersecurity. And I've also connected with those people who create those resources. So it's a good way to connect with individuals out on the cybersecurity community and your potential is unlimited because it's a portfolio website, it's out on the internet. So having a portfolio website in 2022 can really be beneficial for you in your interview or on your resume, depending on how you position and frame what you are working on. In today's video demonstration, I'm gonna be using the website provider Hostinger to go ahead and overview how you can get your website up and running within a short period of time. All right, so I'm on the Hostinger website here, and as you can see, there's different options that they give you in terms of pricing plans, and there's different features. Depending on what you want to use, I would go ahead and recommend the shared hosting plan, which I've already pulled up the pricing here. And if you use the premium uh, pricing plan, you can go ahead and get a free domain name as well as a free TLS or SSL certificate. So if you go ahead and use this, uh, you can go ahead and select it. And luckily for you watching this video, you actually have a coupon that you can apply. If you go ahead and go down here and apply a coupon code of GC7, you will go ahead and receive a nice little coupon for your plan. We're talking about less than $30 a year to maintain and upkeep your portfolio website with a domain SSL TLS certificate and a whole bunch of other features. So that's why I recommend hosting here. It's, it's a really affordable and it gives you the flexibility. I went ahead and signed up for the shared hosting premium tier. And here I'm on the home dashboard of hosting here. With this, like I said, you get a free domain name as well as an SSL or TLS certificate. And you can go ahead and get your website up and running. Like I said in the beginning of this video, we're gonna be using WordPress as our CMS to get up and running because it offers flexibility as well as it's user-friendly. First, let's go ahead and get started by setting up our free domain name. And in this case, we can go ahead and click claim domain with the premium shared hosting tier and go ahead and find a domain that you want to create. When it comes to creating a domain, make sure it's something that is user-friendly, perhaps like your online handle or your full name if it's not taken. So as you can see here, I'm using my last name as well as infosecurity.com. And of course you get the free domain. So let's go ahead and claim this domain here. All right, so the domain has been registered and you're good to go there. The next step is to get the website up and running 
And this is, again, a very easy process. As our domain is pending approval on the Hostinger side, let's go ahead and set up the premium shared hosting. And we're gonna be using WordPress as our CMS. So if we go ahead and use the setup, we can go ahead and walk through the wizard, which is gonna help us set up this website in a matter of, you know, a few minutes. After you answer their questions, we can go ahead and select a platform. And in this case, like I said, we're gonna be using WordPress. It's very easy to get started. Set up an account on the WordPress dashboard. So I'm gonna use my email as well as a password. Click continue. Name your website. Now we can go ahead and click the name your website. and then finish our setup. The wizard is that easy, it's super simple, and that's as easy as it gets. So within a matter of three minutes, we are up and running with WordPress. Now, if you haven't used WordPress before, it's a very user-friendly content management system, or CMS, and it helps you organize your articles and blogs, pages, whatever it is exactly that you want to use. It's very easy to use once you get yourself up and running. As you can see here, it gives us three options, and in this case, if we click view website, this is what we have so far. It's just the default WordPress theme. As Hosinger said, it takes a little while for the uh, domain to be fully registered. So right now it's just this preview.domain.com. So as our domain is being registered, which can take up to 24 hours, we can go ahead and get into our WordPress dashboard by using the preview. If you go ahead and use the view website feature, you're gonna have your previewdomain.com. And if you go up to the URL and type in wp-admin, you're gonna be able to get to the admin dashboard. And you can use your username and password that you set up for the WordPress backend. Perfect, we're into the WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, we have everything we need. So let's go ahead and get started with setting up a blog type style through first installing a theme. In this case, I'm gonna use a theme that I found called Go. It's a very simple, minimalistic blog type theme. So if you go to appearance and then we go to themes here, we already have some pre-installed themes. And like I said, in this case, we're gonna go ahead and click add new theme. We're gonna search Go. Here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and click install. If we go back up to the themes here and we go and click the activate button for the Go theme, we're gonna go ahead and be able to have that theme. And if we go up to our Collins Info security and you click the refresh button, as you can see, uh, we have a very minimalist looking website. Now let's go back into our dashboard and see how we can go ahead and start uploading and customizing these pages. First off, let's start with the home page. So if we go ahead and click customize here, we're gonna get loaded into a customization tool that you can use to edit the home page, the menu, and you know how you want your website to look. In this case, for the sake of brevity, I'm gonna keep it extremely simple and just say this is good enough. This is where you can really use the power of WordPress to come in and create a logo, for instance, so here's your site title. Maybe you just want to create it as, maybe you don't want to have a tagline. And there we go. We can click publish and this will go ahead and create our publish button. All right, so we have our Collins Info Security logo. You can create whatever you want to in this case. Let's go ahead and do two more things. Add a menu and show you how you can publish your first article. The menu would be up here and we can go ahead and go into our dashboard. Go into appearance and go into menus. And let's go ahead and create a new menu. Call this main menu. We're gonna make sure that this is a primary menu and then let's go to create menu. So what this will do is show up on the top page of your blog. Now we can go ahead and add some sample pages. And in this case, let's go ahead and go up to pages, all pages. And these are, you know, web pages that you have. So in this case, right now we have a privacy policy page and a sample page. Let's go ahead and create a new page, add new, we're gonna call this blog and then click publish. 
We're also gonna create a social page to you know, include your social media handles, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever you want to in this case. So now that we have some sample pages, let's go back into appearance and menus. And these will showcase in our menu here, as you can see, our pages, perfect. So let's go ahead and add our social blog and sample page, add these to the menu, and we can switch the orders if we want to. And we can even make these uh, parent pages and child pages by going in. So now we have inside blog, we have a sub item. But for this case, let's just go ahead and create it like this. Click save menu. And if we go back up into our website, we click visit website. As you can see, we now have pages. Perfect. Again, very brief overview of getting this started, but it's super easy, as you can see. Lastly, let's go ahead and go into our articles. How can we publish an article to get ourselves up and running with this blog? So if we go into posts here, as you can see, you're gonna have all of our posts. Here is our default sample post. Let's go ahead and add a new one. So if we go up to add new, here is where we can add a post. Here we can go ahead and add our title as well as our article blocks. Again, want, let's just say we want to publish this. You can mess around with this very easily. Click publish, go back to our WordPress icon, getting started within Python in cybersecurity, go into our website. And as you can see, perfect. We can go ahead and click this article link and read an article. And so this is just the basic overview of what we can do inside WordPress. I mean, within a matter of minutes, we've been able to build a blog and get ourselves up and running. And you can go ahead and start posting blogs and get out there and put your name out there. The last thing I'm gonna showcase is getting the SSL or TLS certificate up and running because this is gonna help, of course, secure your website, but it helps with the Google rankings. So if we go back into our home website, Hostinger, and we go and click the SSL certificate setup, again, it's gonna walk us through this wizard and, and basically we just, all we have to do is click S install SSL. And as you can see, SSL will be started. Our domain is still trying to be reviewed at this point. So this may not work right now. So as this SSL certificate is being installed up in this SSL page here, we can go ahead and go back to our home page. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you would force HTTPS on your website once the SSL certificate is installed. Like I said, for the time of brevity, I'm not gonna wait for the SSL certificate to be installed. But if we go into our hosting, click manage, and then go into our dashboard page, you're gonna see an option that says force HTTPS, redirect all you know website requests to HTTPS. So go ahead and click that option once your SSL certificate has been installed. So yeah, like that, in a matter of minutes, we have a blog up and running if you followed along in today's video. So like I've said, a portfolio website can be a great project to get started off in 2022, and it's good to add to your resume and talk about it during an interview process. When it comes to adding articles, just simply start by putting out some lessons that you're learning. Anything, really. Just posting some articles and showing that you have some willingness to learn is really gonna go a far way in your process of getting started in cybersecurity. So hopefully this video has been useful in getting this portfolio website up and running. And yeah, until the next video, have a good day.